Go, go over this way. Oh, shit. From um, prom to today's drama preview, we've got the scoop. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Ready? Begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Centurions. Today is Wednesday, April 26, 2017. And can you believe that we're already halfway done with the week? I know, right? It's pretty amazing. Also, if you were born on this day, well, happy birthday. You share your birthday with comedian actor Kevin James, who he played Doug on the TV sitcom The King and Queens, and was nominated for the Primetime Emmy Award for Outstanding Lead Actor in the comedy series. Also, he has been in other movies like Ma Cop, Zookeeper, Pixels, and Grown Ups. You also share your birthday with Channing Tatum. Before a fame, he played soccer and football, also track and martial arts um, competitions. And he also was in the movie 21 Jump Street and 22 Jump Street, Step Up and Magic Mike. But everyone, but enough of that. Let's get on to some school news. Okay. Attention seniors, prom is closing in. So if you're planning to ask a special someone, make sure you guys get your tickets ASAP. This week, the price is $75 with, that, with ASB card and $80 without ASB card. Also happening this week is yearbook, which w will be presented by our very own drama. Tickets are on sale, five dollars, and they will be seven dollars at the door. Good morning, Centurions. It's me, Jennifer Rodriguez, again, and I'm right here with Miss Shepherd, our drama teacher. And when is your play? Our play is tomorrow, Thursday, and Friday, and it starts at seven p.m. Doors open at six thirty. And also, what is your play about? The play is called Yearbook, and it's about a group of students that are looking through their yearbook and they're reflecting on their school year. And so it kind of captures different moments that make a school pretty awesome. And the really cool part of this show is that it features century. So we're including real uh, sportswear, real century clothing, and we're you know referring to like real clubs that are here. So it's, it's a really awesome way to represent century. That's so interesting. And make sure you guys come and support on Thursday and Friday, right? Thursday and Friday. And do you know how much is the ticket? Yes, we're actually doing a $1 pre-sale for tickets tomorrow right after school. The first 30 people in line get in for $1 if you line up right outside the TCC. So that's tomorrow and for Friday. And it's the day of the show that you're interested in coming. After that, it's $3 pre-sale and then it'll be 5 at the door. Oh, okay, so make sure you guys come and support. And yeah, back to you guys at the studio. All right, guys, so um, the show will be tomorrow and Friday at Friday at 7 p.m. If you guys are looking for a summer job, then make sure you go check out the job fair. It's a great opportunity to get experience of a lifetime, and you'll have the chance to apply at different places where they're seeking new employment. Catch me there. Well, let's talk about games. The Game Development Club is going to help you learn game development software. If you want to learn to make games, this is the start. This course is free, and it is during the summer. Sounds good? It's about it sound better.
So we have two clubs that meet today. Um, so the first one being the Christian Catholic Club. They meet today during lunch. Also meeting today is the Interact Club. So if you guys don't know much about it, here we have some um, officers to give you more information. And I'm here with some of the members of the Interact Club with Carla Escobedo and Brenda Flores. And tell us, um, all the interns that are watching, what is Interact Club? So the Interact Club, it's a community-based so, um, based organization that helps the community and allows students to be part of the community and give back to the community. And tell us, why do you join? Um, I really did join because it's a great way to earn community hours and develop leadership skills. And Brenda, why did you join the Interact Club? To gain leadership skills and get out of my shell. And when do, you, when do you guys meet? Today, right? Yeah, we meet today after school. Okay, can you still join? Yes. Okay, make sure you guys come. What room? 433. Okay, make sure you guys come in room 433 and back to you guys at the desk. Now let's get started on some sports, shall we? Baseball had against against Magnolia yesterday. Boys tennis had a game yesterday <laughs> against Valley, and it was an away game. I'm sure it was an easy game for them. Um, well, on that note, um, they took a, ge a win against the Falcons, and it was a no. what? I mean, okay, never mind. Try. <laughs> <laughs> well, they sure did. The score was 12-6, to and I, can and I can assume there is more to come. Track is having a meet today against Anaheim. It's a way, but make sure you still go out and show some support. And here we actually have some players to talk more about it. Hello, this is me again, Jennifer, and I'm here with the track members. And today they're um, play competing uh, against Anaheim. And tell me your name and what do you guys run? Uh, Angel Beltran. I run the 400 meter dash, 300 hurdles, and 4x4. Four four. My name is Joanna Cisneros. I run the 100 meter um, hurdles and 300 meter hurdles. My name is Sofia Gomez, and I do the 3200 meter and the 1600 meter. Hello, uh, I do the mile and the 800, and my name is uh, Sergio. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, how do you guys are doing in league? Uh, right now, we are in fourth place in league. Nice. And also, um, can you tell us a little bit about your track and something? Uh, well, this season has been okay for me. Uh, I have a best this season of 505 for the mile and 215 for the 800 meter. And you? Um... For the mile, um, I've been hitting 630s, which hopefully I drop my time and yeah. Uh, my 400, I'm hitting about a 54. My 300 meter hurdles, a uh, 44. And for the 4x4, it's just a team sport where we're hitting about a 350. Um, for me, the 100 hurdles, I'm hitting a 1835. And for 300 hurdles, I'm hitting a 55 seconds. And what, do you guys are, how, what are you guys working on? Uh, today, we just want to get a better time and hopefully we uh, come out with some small wins today. And what are you working on? Um, I'm hoping to better my times and see a little bit of the competition that we're going to have in league finals and league prelims. So yeah. All in all, we just want to PR as a team. You know, everyone PR means a personal record and we just want to get out there. And for me, it's just personal record and controlling my hip rotation for hurdles. Nice. Nick, uh, I wish you guys luck. Hopefully, you guys win. And back to you guys at the desk. Also, uh, softball had a game against Anaheim. And uh, here with more information, we have Mr. Marzilli. Good morning, Centurions. This is me, Jennifer Rodriguez. And we're out here with Coach Marzilli, our varsity girls softball. And how are your girls doing so far? Girls are doing amazing. We're having the best season in the history of Century High School, and I can't be prouder of the way our, our girls are playing. And also, what's your record? Um, in league, we're 3-2. and two. We had a really tough loss yesterday to Anaheim. Um, defensively, we played perfect. We had no errors, and that's the first game that um, I've ever coached our girls when we've had a perfect, clean, no error, clean error-free game. It was awesome, even though we lost. And also, what do you girls need to go to the playoff? Um, all we need to do is win the games we need to win. Um, and uh, the very last game of the season, uh, we play Anaheim. And that will be, if we win that game, we go to CIF. If we don't, we pack up and go home. 
And yeah, thank you, Coach Vincent, and back to you guys at the studio. And I'm very proud of you, ladies. <laughs> oh. All right, so uh, that's all, right. all the news we have for today. Until next time, Centurions. Goodbye. Bye.